Hi, for this recording, we are given a permutation in two-line form. We are going to find out in part C what is the order of the subgroup generated by P in the permutation group of 8 symbol S8. To do this, let's look at the solution. First, we write P in a cycle notation. P in this case is 1, 6, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 8, which is an 8 cycle. According to part 2, section 9, page 94 of John text, a first course in abstract algebra question 13b suggests that the order of an n cycle is n. For example, the order of a 4 cycle, 1, 4, 5, 7 is 4, which means that 1, 4, 5, 7 multiply itself 4 times, you should get the identity. So we can apply this result to here. Since P in this case have length equal to 8, so it is an 8 cycle. The order of P is equal to 8 now. So the subgroup generated by P in this case is equal to P, P square, P cube, P4, P power 5, P power 6, P power 7, and E. This is because P power 8 is E, where E is the identity, means 1, 2, all the 1 cycle, consists of 1 element only, and this is the E. So, because the subgroup generated by P has 8 element, therefore the size of the subgroup generated by P is 8. Now, what is actually P, P squared, P cubed, P power 4, and so on? We can check that. If P is 1, 6, 5, 2, 7, 3, 4, 8, then P squared with P times P, you get 1, 5, 7, 4, then 2, 3, 8, 6 in our 4 cycle. And P cube will be 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 5, 3. And P power 4 will be 1, 7, 2, 8, 3, 6, 4, 5. Now P power 7 happens to be P power minus 1 because P times P power 7 is E. So inverse of P is P power 7, so you can write Inverse of P is 1, 8, 4, 3, 7, 2, 5, 6. And P power 6 is the inverse of P square. So therefore, it is 1, 4, 7, 5, 2, 6, 8, 3. And P power 5 is actually the inverse of P power 3. So we get 1, 3, 5, 8, 7, 6, 4, 2. And P power 8 we know is E, which is consists of all the one cycle. And that is the end of the recording.